it around in uh, its soup at this point. You can point. throw it out. You want to make another one? Oh no, I'll still eat it. Hey everyone, my name's Kathleen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with John Ross and we are going to be talking about summer seasonal looks and what better way to do that by making ice cream sundaes. Do you like ice cream? I could eat it till I throw up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I love it. So I myself am very competitive when it comes to making ice cream sundaes. So let's see who can make the best ice cream sundae. All right, game on. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so right. what's your favorite ice cream? I'm a classic. You're a I'm classic a vanilla guy. Vanilla. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to start with the vanilla chocolate strawberry. What do you think is, uh, what's your favorite look? I love making it look, and it's funny because I think I always suffer between being creative and doing something different or trying to perfect a classic, classic look, look, if that makes sense. That's why yeah. I'm always drawn to making everything like clean, white, like even, I can't. Yeah. even doing, um, uh, making a sundae. But no, with makeup, I think the craziest thing about it is always the difference in like eyeshadow tones, lip colors, um, oh, you're helping me scoop. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> like, going into this summer, everything is glowy, highlighter, bold lip, which I love. People are, even in summer, people are wearing more like daring tones, which I think is very, everyone's always very nude normally, but especially in the summer, everything is always just blush tones and nudes. But more and more people I'm seeing are actually doing like bolder pinks, bolder, yeah. which I'm happy about. Yeah, I agree. Um, I noticed like last year, like the trend was all of highlighter and then it's just definitely pulled into this season. Yeah. And you know, as far as like a bridal look, it's it, the trend I find it has not really changed that much. It's like you said, it's just really been perfecting, you know, a, a liner, but not like a real cat eye, you know, yes. just a very clean, crisp look with a slight wing with the lash and, you know, contoured slightly blush. And, you know, depending on the time of year is, depends on what kind of lip that I find that they typically want to use. Yeah. Um, I love though, just a plain neutral eye with a bold lip. Yes. You know, to me, that's like my favorite look. As far as um, like the moms, the mother of the brides, like I find yes. that they're just understanding who they are. Yes. And just kind of embracing that. That they're just kind of enhancing their, what they do naturally and normally on a regular day and just kind of bumping it up a few levels. The more like mother of the brides I talk to, I always end up saying to them like, don't be afraid of trying to not go heavier, but don't be afraid to play up what you still feel your best attribute is. You know right. what I mean? I think a lot of times either they've had a bad experience with makeup or people have put too much on and yeah. they look at themselves and they feel very clown. I've heard that said to me many times. Yeah. Where when it's done correctly and you take the time and you give a mom a natural look, like it looks amazing. And then yeah. not to be afraid of putting a lash on. I see a lot of yes. them sometimes are afraid to put a lash on, but when you put a lash on them, it just opens up their eyes that have at that point, it's a tendency to have closed up or have gotten a little heavy yeah. and it just like makes their eyes pop. And you can just see such a difference yeah. in the way that they feel once they've got their makeup done. Like they feel like, I feel like you've been lifted, you elevated them like, you know, to such a place where they haven't been in a long time. So yeah. it's very powerful yeah. what the makeup can do when it's done correctly. So And even talking about trends, like we were saying in the beginning, and that just jogged my memory of it. I actually will say i think the absolute biggest trend going into i mean just in general in the whole beginning of the year skincare yes. more than anything yes. which yes. is yes. not like is not mutually exclusive with makeup and i think people always think that there's such a difference with that nine out of ten brides that i work like and there's depending on the age anything else how they take care of their skin whether they're dry or oily is indifferent because i think when people are going into your bridal look, I think don't be afraid to amp up your skincare routine because I think the biggest misunderstanding is that you're not gonna have a daily routine. No one knows what age to start doing their skincare. Mm -hmm. They don't know what specifically needs to go into doing this in their skincare routine for their skin. And then they come in and get their makeup done and it is okay. This is the one day of year I'm gonna wear a full coverage foundation and it's gonna look flawless. Right. It's not gonna look no flawless, flawless if you're not taking care of your skin. skin. And I think yeah. so many women going on to wanting to look more natural is coming out of the more you take care of your skin, the more you can get the texture to look smoother, your pores are gonna get smaller, the redness is gonna go down. And I can't even tell you the difference of makeup that I do on women who are taking care of their skin regularly. I 
can literally use a tinted moisturizer and buff it on, and Amazing. their skin looks flawless in two seconds right. because I'm not fighting, I'm not covering up redness and texture. And so I think, and I don't know about you, what in skin do you think the step people skip the most? Exfoliating? 100%. Is that, is yes. that? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if I could yes, pass yes. out exfoliators yes. to anyone I meet, that would be the biggest <laughs> thing. Because I think, and I always tell people, like there's the two different kinds that I always recommend to everybody is a chemical exfoliator and the physical exfoliator. So I always start, personally, I do like three times a week, I'll do chemical exfoliator, especially on areas that get more dry all around here, center of the forehead, any place that makeup looks makeup-y. Like, Cakey, well exactly. build up. Yeah, yeah. and um, it's so funny because people always tell me too, they're like, oh, I'm using, I use, I've been using a moisturizer for X amount of years, or yeah, you could even be using La Mer, but if you're not exfoliating in a way the dead skin, it's like right. trying to right. let moisturizer soak through this, marble. Yeah. It's not gonna, <laughs> if, if there's that buildup yeah. of dead skin, it's right. not gonna go through. And the difference, and we even see it all the time when we have girls come in for a trial and we'll recommend certain skincare, by the time we get to the wedding, it, when they're doing what we're saying as far as chemical exfoliating, physically exfoliating. Night and day, right? It's like butter. Yeah. Like you can yeah. literally put the makeup on as night and day. Yeah. And that is, that would be my biggest thing is that the more you take care of your skin, and I feel like we are 90% of the people now, the trends are, they want to look incredibly natural, incredibly soft. Right. The better your skin looks, the more polished your skin looks, the more hydrated your skin looks, that is what is standing in between you getting that kind of a look. No, yeah, no, I totally yeah. agree. And they come in and they ask, you know, right away, what's what should I do first? And I'm like, you know, take care of your skin, start yeah. exfoliating, start moisturizing, wash your face every night, and then wash it in the morning, use yeah. a toner on it. And they they get very confused with the information because there's a lot of you know yeah. products out there and yeah. just a tremendous amount of information where to go and with how to start, you know. So I typically just send them to go to Sephora, and you know what I mean? Have yeah. somebody evaluate your skin and see yeah. what products they recommend and talk yeah. to them about whatever issues that you have with your skin, and you will see a big difference, you mm -hmm. know, and just the way that yours your skin starts to radiate over yeah. within, a, within a month. God, John, I think we completely neglected our ice cream. We, melt, we, we really talked too long. Yeah. That, uh, to the round and uh, it's soup at this you point. You can throw it out. You want to make another one? Oh no, I'll still eat it. <laughs> who won? Oh. Oh, who won? Um, <laughs> they can comment down below who wins. Yeah. <laughs> Who's do you love? Yeah. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And John and I are going to finish our ice cream. Cheer our melted and drink them at this point. <laughs> so, uh, our milkshakes, yeah. 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 <laughs>